So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week 10. If you guys don't know, this is the last week of the seasonal challenges, as in there will be no more seasonal challenges next week. So week 10 is the, is the last one we usually get. So these are the challenges you have to complete in order to get the mastery of wrath, which is very beneficial considering you get like 3000 bright dust, if I remember correctly. So that is a pretty good chunk. But for the seasonal challenges for this week, it's going to be serve shield four or six. I don't know which number that is. Uh, locate all war mine nodes and destroy all security drones in exotic mission operation Serve shield this one isn't hard it's just i've been really lazy with this channel considering i have another channel which i'm playing a lot more stuff which if you guys don't know i do have another channel it's called fix tony plays i play pretty much everything there from dead space remake which we just we, i finished it but i'm still posting it uh dead space 2 i'm also going to be putting up we're finishing up Dying Light 2. We're going to be playing Elden Ring. There's going to be so much content in that channel. So if you guys want to see what I usually play and I actually do show my cam there. So if you guys want to see how I look as well, make sure to check that out. Uh, for the next one, EDZ activities in the EDZ earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, bubble events and lost sectors. Not hard. Just just do, do stuff around EDZ. I personally like to do I like to pick up bounties and uh, do patrols while I'm doing lost sectors. So I'll be going in and out lost sectors and I'll be doing bounties and a, an occasional patrol here and there. I usually ignore public events, even though they do give the biggest chunk. I don't go out of my way to get them. If they're in the area, I'll do it, but I don't go out of my way to do it, is what I'm saying. Uh, Vanguard ornament, just get the Veles X ornament from the Vanguard. This is annoying because you have to essentially reset your your rank with vanguard and then essentially hit it again because it is in the last node so i this one is like the worst one for me i don't really like to do this one just because uh vanguard ops is uh is terrible i I'd, I'd, I'd rather be pulling my ball hair out individually than do this and nightfalls are also like unless you're doing grandmasters they're really not worth it unless you know i mean at that point uh the uh the adepts aren't really that worth it either unless uh some of the some of the mods are really good but again it's like one of those like either you do the nightfall and never get a weapon which is my case or you do grandmasters and you do like two or three because everyone doesn't want to run more than one or two so and it's it's really annoying vanguard really needs to step up their game and they really just need to fix vanguard uh i think vanguard i, I i've talked about this in a few videos but just to give you the tldr I do think Vanguard needs a like a really big change. They need to give us uh, difficulty in Vanguard Ops again, like we used to have in Destiny 1. We also need a strike specific loot because that's also very important. And yeah, Vanguard just sucks donkey dick. So for Eververse, we're looking at the Reefer Galia shader. I like the shader a lot. Ignore this. This is for a video. But this the shader is really cool. It's a really good uh, like dark navy with uh like purple i really like this shader it's one of the more better shaders especially uh reef inspired so definitely pick this up we have swirling leaf entrance we have arcs courier which is the arc inspired set or specifically the arc ship which is okay we have flight dance which is an emo i'm not gonna look at that we have burning the burning mall projection we have Atropos, which is, I like to think of this one as the Iron Man ornament or Iron Man, Iron, yeah, Iron Man ornament, essentially just fucking Marvel's Iron Man colors. We have the Isochronal Nano Fluid, which is, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to pick this up just cause I think it's such a, it's not terrible. It's just kind of boring personally. And for the Titan, I, if I remember correctly, it is the uh, Heart of Inmost Light. And for the Warlock, it's the Boots. Uh, I forget what Boots they are. Hopefully, I have them both right now. If not, well, I'll show you in-game. Uh, Swift Persistence, which is from Season of the Haunted. Uh, XU-14, which, yeah. We have Flare Gun, which literally you just shoot a flare in the sky. And then Red Light, Green Light, which is what it sounds like. We have Argent Territorn, which is a really cool shader. Unfortunately, they fucking nerfed the shit out of it. And I will be t making a video on it because I do think it's unfortunate. They did fuck up this shader unless they 
unless the previous one before was bugged but even then i think the previous one was way better than what we have now um welded brass which is this is a good shader if you want a really deep purple for a glow other than that i'm not really a big kind of brown um deep sea jaunt which is definitely not a shader i like personally but you never know when you'll use it and melika zedek bramble it's a stupid name and i don't even like the shader i think the purple is too dark for the, how how light this pink is or purple is. So I think it's just the contrast is too heavy for me. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below for the ornaments. Let's actually show you real quick. So for the Titans, it's going to be the Heart of the Most Light, this one right here. Uh, and then for the Warlocks, it's going to be the Second Filament. There we go. So it's going to be this one right here. So definitely really cool. I definitely like this ornament, which is why I got it. And then obviously for the Titans, I don't think I need to like show you this, but for those who don't, um, this is a really cool ornament. And some of you are thinking like, that's too much glow. Again, if you have this shader right here, which is from Scene of the Undying, then it actually turns the glow off. You do have white or more like a, like an off white to ivory color but it's such a small price to pay for having such a cool chess piece and uh i might as well show you guys what i did for with it and this is what i did with my titan i went with a cowboy look i've made this video before in a previous video i'll have it up right now i think but yeah it's like i've been waiting for this chess piece so i can have this because i think this set looks really cool the arms is new i was originally wearing something like uh this one right here this is what i was wearing with a different shader specifically uh this one over here this isn't a fashion video i just want to like show you guys what i thought what i did with it because i think this is probably one of the coolest uh chess pieces in the game right now especially for your titans so this is what i i was doing before i still might go with this my only gripe is that i am wearing two pieces of the same set which is the intrepid exploit and the intrepid exploit mark so that's why i'm like I don't know if I want to use it, but I do think the Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets look way better, which I mean, at this point, I'm just going to do this because fuck it. I don't care. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have a few. I actually have a few pieces of content to make right now. I'm working on three exotic videos. After these three are done, though, we have been caught up with all of the exotic videos. And from there, it's going to be mostly just uh building up to lightfall because lightfall is going to be very very busy for me uh on top of february just being a busy month considering the forest uh sequel sons of the forest will be coming out which i will be posting on my second channel uh and then we'll be most likely be playing resident evil 4 the old the original so that way i can have videos for when the new one comes out which is in march i have so much content planned and unfortunately a lot of that is in my second channel uh because mo i mostly just cover fashion and destiny 2. i do want to cover guns as well i want to cover a lot of the stuff that i used to cover but unfortunately it's not very viable because a lot of people will probably not watch those videos my channel is specifically more catered towards fashion um so at this point in in my channel i think I think I'm going to stick to fashion really, really hard, but then I'm probably going to try to branch out to other games as well, uh, specifically like Final Fantasy 14. I have a lot of fashion there that I want to showcase. Uh, wow, I might do maybe it's just wow's really, really hard to do fashion because you can't change the colors of your armor. Actually, yeah, you can't change the color of your armor because most of the armor is already done. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys later.